Geometry Tools Revised Edition using compounds. So we won't go through the whole thing again, but what I missed in the previous one, which I don't want to take off, is using compounds. The revised is, is um, actually getting the compound to display. So with the four white shapes selected, hold down the option key, which we don't have, and select add. But what we do here is we go to the tools menu and you can see add under geometry. Well, in this case, hold it down. Don't just tap it, but you hold it down. Now you will see on the right hand side, it says compound. And that's what you need. So rather than creating a compound, you can create a standard shape by ignoring the modifier, by holding it down. In this case, the process is destructive and only immediately reversible using the undo command. So if you don't hold the key down, if you just press the plus key, you end up with just the combined um, shape as we've done in the first exercise. So now to expand the compound layer, click on the arrow to the left of the compound, and that's that arrow there, click on it, and it expands it. To change the geometry operation, select an object's add icon, icon and select an alternative operation. For example, so try the other options to see how the results differ. Any layer within the compound can process a different geometry operation and can also be transformed, that is, repositioned and resized at any point, and the resulting compound will adjust to accommodate these changes. Now, that is very uh, powerful. The, the divide operation is the only geometry operation which is inherently destructive and will never result in a compound. This is because the outcome consists of multiple shapes with their boundaries defined by the overlapping edges of the original shapes. So you'll need to experiment with that one. But there's your compound.